Hi kids, my name's Hadley and you're here to paint with us at Let's Make Art Kids and I've got my special guest with me. What's your name? <laughs> Nicole. And how old are you? 32. <laughs> and what's your favorite paint color? Yellow. <laughs> Mine too. <laughs> you might have noticed we had a little switcheroo. So we're so excited because you all probably know Hadley. She's, I call her our Let's Make Art Kids mom. Oh. <laughs> Yes. Because she's a mom to everyone for all of us. That's nice. Yeah. And she's here to paint with us. And guess what we're doing today? Let's hold ours up. Oh. <laughs> so we're making potted flowers. So we're going to learn how to draw a vase and then make these cool flowers with this cool watercolor technique called wet on wet that we like to do here. So let's show them our supplies. So we have our paper out. We have our brushes. Now we have a big one, which is around 10, and a small one, which is around five. And then we have our palette and our cup of water and a paper towel will be helpful. And then can you show them what colors we got? Yep. So we have three colors, oh, Whoa, flying colors. We have magenta, dandelion yellow, and Tahoe blue. But do you see on our flowers, there's all these different colors. So we're gonna be able to make that using our color mixing guide. So we're gonna do that after we draw. So let's. You forgot the most exciting part. What's, oh, our stickles. Tell them about it. This is amazing. <laughs> My son Dodger loves stickles so much. So, so, so much. So we are pumped about this and it's in our favorite color. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's Yellow. true. Yellow, yes, nice. like so stoked on life. So we're gonna be using that at the very end. And then the other thing that's a little bit different is grab a pencil. So we're gonna start with the first step, which is actually doing our motto. Yes. Do you wanna do it? Yes, let's go, Kay. let's go. Okay, I am brave. I am brave. brave. I am kind. I am kind. And I am creative. And, and I, I am creative. creative. Let's do this. Let's do this. <laughs> we have to do it in person. <laughs> So we get to meet, we talk via a screen. So it's yeah. fun to finally meet in person. So you're in for a treat. Okay, so grab your pencil. Let's do our first step, which is drawing our pot. Okay. Now, here's what I want you to know is that let's show them different ones. So do you see how these are all similar, but different? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with the left side. So pick which type of shape you like, and we're gonna draw the left side of this. Okay, Which one I do you think, think I'm doing? Go this that way. one? Okay. Yep, let's do it. Cool. Then I'll do this one. Okay. So you're going to draw in the bottom half. So do you see how our pot is right here and then our plants are up here or yes. flowers? So let's go in the bottom half, start on the left side, okay. and you're going to draw your shape. So whatever shape you're doing, you're going to draw and then come down to the, where the bottom is. Okay. And then you're going on the other side. So go on the opposite side. And then you're going to do the same thing, but then come in. So it's a mirror. So it goes like this, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, then last step is you're gonna connect both the top and the bottom. Okay. So you're gonna connect these lines with a curve, or I like to call it a, a smiley face, a curve, and then another curve. And the fun thing is that each of ours is so unique. Yeah, totally. I mean, what I started with, <laughs> what we got is, it. but we got it. We got it. Okay, so that's your first step. So you drew with us. Now, the next step is we're going to use our watercolors and we're going to mix. So let's have our guide out. So let's start with, I'm going to make the rainbow on this palette. So I love this palette because we can have all of our colors out. So I'm going to put some magenta. And then we're going to mix red. So red is three drops of magenta. Do you want to grab the yellow? Yep. Three drops of magenta and two drops. So magenta plus yellow makes red. Oh, <laughs> oh actually, so yes, Hadley was right. So let's show them. So this is the red and we have magenta. So Hadley said orange yep. and she also is right. So let's make orange. So orange is a little bit less magenta and more yellow because when we're looking at our guide it's closer to the yellow so it's the same two colors but we're gonna make a new color yes yeah. so cool <gasps> that's a pretty it's like Love gold it. yes and then can you add some yellow for us yeah so we're gonna make the whole rainbow now you get to pick what colors you want your flowers to be so if you don't want if you want a different color you can do that do you want to do the whole rainbow yeah, let's do it. Okay, so let's make light green. So light green is one drop, one drop of blue. blue 
and three drops of yellow. So it's gonna be the same thing where we're gonna make two different greens. So this first green that Hadley's making is lighter and a more yellow green because it's closer Ooh, to the yellow. Good. Now she's gonna make a, a bluer green. So it's still green, but it has a little bit more blue because it's closer. So she's doing three drops of blue and one drop of yellow. Mm, the old switcheroo again. Yeah. Ooh, I, oh, love I love that one. That. Yeah, that's nice. So we got that and then we have our blue. And then we'll make some navy. So let's do the same thing. So we're gonna mix Tahoe blue and magenta. We can do the last color up there, yeah. So first, oh, bit. were you making this one or this one? Um, this one. This one, okay. So she did three drops of blue and one drop of magenta, and that's gonna be a navy. Ooh. I think that's like one of my favorite colors. Yeah. It's so good. So then she's gonna mix the same two colors. She's mixing Tahoe blue and magenta, but there's more magenta, so we're gonna make a purple. So for all of you who like purple, we got you. Ooh, that's good too. Look yes. at that! So good. We just made all those colors from three colors. It's so fun. So now we're ready to paint. So we have all our colors ready. Let's get our paper a little bit more organized. There we go. Okay. So the first step is, is we are going to paint our flowers. Now, when you do this, I want you to be creative because remember, that's one of our words in our motto. So you're gonna use whatever's in your brain and imagination and you're gonna paint it here. So I want, let's do it, let's do an exercise. Can you close your eyes? Okay. And what color flower do you see first? Pink. What do you see, Hadley? You see pink? Yep. I see orange. What color do you see? Can Purple. You? Purple. Okay, so whatever color, the first color you saw, I want you to grab your paintbrush, use any size, either one you want, and I want you to pick up the color. So put it on your paintbrush, and then we're gonna draw cloud-like shapes. So these are abstract flowers, so they're not gonna look perfect. So anywhere, actually, let's start on the left side. If, you're, if you are right-handed, let's start on this side, because then you won't smear. If you're mm. left-handed, let's start on this side. So ha you're right-handed. I'm right-handed. So we're right-handed. But right -handed. Dodger, you're gonna start on the opposite side. Dodger is left-handed. <laughs> Mirror. Mirror. Yeah. So you're gonna start somewhere in here. Now, when you're doing this, you can draw them right here. You can draw them higher. This is your time to be creative. But when you're doing it, is pick a spot, and I want you to kind of go like this, and we're just drawing curves and making like a cloud. Oh. Yeah, and they could be different shapes because some are more circular, some have more petals. So you get to decide. So draw a few of those in different spots. If you need to get more paint, you can get more paint. So yeah, some of them can be more oval shaped. Maybe some of them are longer or bigger. You get to make them. And so you'll notice I'm adding them with a little bit of space in between, or you can do them really, really close together. You get to decide. So let's start with that. Then, oh, you mix, yeah. So then you can pick another color and Hadley's gonna blend them in together, which is yeah. so pretty. Now, if you wanna try a cool technique, which is called wet on wet, yes. I want you to pick another color. So when you're doing this, the color, I'm gonna pick a color that's close on the color wheel. So I'm going to pick, so I did orange, so let's see, I think I'm gonna pick magenta. Now, you did magenta. Yeah. So maybe pick a darker color, so pick one of these colors, Kay. and then it'll show up, because if you do a lighter one, right. it won't show up as right. well. So pick a darker one. So you're gonna pick it up. Can I put my lighter one in the darker one? Do it, try. Okay, let's try. Ooh, Ooh, so it mixed. Yes. Yeah. I like it. So when you're doing it, is you're gonna drop in the color. Oh! So good. So did you see that explode? And it's because my paint is wet and what I'm adding is wet. Cool. So I'm gonna add it in. I'm doing it in the middle, but you can add them on different spots if yours are different shapes. <laughs> That's so fun. So then what you're gonna do is you're gonna keep and doing, keep repeating and doing that. So maybe I'm gonna pick a yellow flower so you're gonna keep going and doing more of these. I love how you did that. <laughs> so again, we're painting different shapes and we're filling in our space. 
And then when it's still wet, yeah, clean your brush and then pick a different color. Let's see, what happens if I do magenta again? Oh, yeah! So these are called color explosions. We're calling these cloud flowers? <laughs> yes. I love cloud flowers. <laughs> I would shape a cloud flower to be looking like Simba <laughs> or Mufasa. <laughs> Sounds very fun. It is, it would be. I love right. the colors you pick. So it's so fun. I love painting with other people and friends because you get to see what colors they like to pick. We all have different colors that we like. So keep filling yours in. Now, oops. You can see that we have a little bit of space. We're gonna add some greenery. Okay. But I'm gonna keep filling it in. Ooh, I wanna see what happens if I add blue. So I'm gonna add blue to my pink, and I think we're gonna make purple. Woohoo! So good. Ready, Keenan? Can you do some, some explosions? <laughs> that was a good one. Oh, yeah. Okay. Now. Woohoo! Yeah. Love Ooh, it. Those color combos are great. I know. This is so fun. Okay. So the next step is, is you have all of your flowers, is we're going to let this dry. So we're going to do our work on our vase right now. Cool. So pick a color for your vase. Again, you are the artist. So you get to pick I'm what color. yellow. Oh. So you get to decide. The other thing when you're painting this is do you want to add stripes? Do you want to fill it all the way in? You get to decide. So I'll show you if you want to add stripes like this. What we're going to do is you're going to paint the outside. I need more paint. Boom. Oh, and Hadley's Ooh, blended. That's cool. <laughs> yeah. I love it. Just add in a little greenery. Yeah. So <laughs> blended colors. <laughs> okay, so now what kind of, do you want to do stripes too? I think I'm going to do stripes. Yeah? Yep. Okay. Because I want the horizontal stickles. Horizontal stripes? Ooh. Or are you doing like diagonal? Ooh. I think I'll, I'm doing horizontal. Okay, do horizontal. I'll okay. do diagonal then. Cool. Yes. So you can do the same color. You can mix it up. Yeah, you can add swirls. Swirls would be cool. I'm going to try and see what it looks like if I do diagonal lines. Ooh. It's going to make me think of a purple pumpkin. Pumpkin? Until this looks like it a... is all the same direction. Pumpkins aren't the same direction. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that looks good. That looks cool. I love that. I'm going to see what happens. Maybe I'll mix in some blue. So you get to be creative. I'll do the opposite now, see what happens. Oh, look how it's blending. And it's like a weave oh, pattern, I yeah. like that. Ooh. Hey, when I was in Boy Scouts, I did a basketry merit badge. And okay. uh, I learned how to weave baskets. Yes, yeah. <laughs> look. So yeah, I may have made something that looks similar to that. So like Keenan after this could show us how to, how you to could do that, right? Do I this. mean, I, would take some remembering. But okay. yes, this was decades ago. Okay. Uh, nope, this was 20 years ago. I'm sorry, I was wrong about that. So good. So you can add different colors. I'm, oh, so Keenan wanted, you want some swirls? Oh, I'm gonna do swirls know. with my stickles after. Okay, yeah, do that. So you can do some, you can add in different colors. So I know I, I, know I said I was gonna do stripes, but I'm thinking I want just like an all over. Yellow. Oh, Ooh, okay, you're gonna make like it. I love in. it that much. It is a good color. That is a good yellow. It is the best color. Well. Wow. <gasps> this is so fun. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> okay, so if you want to draw really, really thin lines while Hadley's painting, and I want to teach you something. So when I drew this, do you see how I have thin lines and thick lines? Yes. What I want to teach you is, actually, I'll do it on here. If I want a really thin line, is I'm just gonna really lightly touch my paper. Do you see how the, pa the paint brushes just really lightly? Yeah. Now, if I were to push harder, I get a thicker line. So you mm. get to use this brush to do what you want it to do. That's a good tip too, because if yeah. you put a thin line somewhere mm -hmm. and you're like, ooh, I think I actually need a thick line there, you can cover your thin line up yeah. with yes. a new thick line. You can make it a thick line, you're right. Okay, love it. 
Okay, you get ready for the next step? You want yeah. to do the stickles? Let's, yes. Oh, no, sorry. I was going to say, we have to do our, our we have to stems, Thank right? you, yeah. yeah. Okay, so cool. our next oh. step is, is we're going to do our leaves. Now, if you're, I think ours are a little bit wet still. So what we're going to do, we already mixed green. Now, if you don't have green, I want you to mix that by mixing blue and yellow together. So mix your green. And because ours isn't isn't dry yet, you can either take a snack break or we're gonna use our handy tool. It's a heat it craft tool that's gonna, we're gonna dry it. Okay, so this tool is awesome. And so, so cool. Gonna, we plugged it in and then we're gonna push this up. Boom. And I think what's so cool about this is it looks like it's a hair dryer. Uh huh. But I've tried a hair dryer at home. Okay. And it's too, it's like too hard. It's too strong. Yeah, so like you can like barely, like it just barely dries it so that your painting doesn't like fly off the paper like a straw. Mm. Oh, that makes sense. Yes, because <laughs> I did not have this at home. So I thought I can just use my hair dryer. Yeah, mm -mm. you were wrong. I was wrong. Okay, <laughs> you wanna try it? Yep. Wrong. I'm so excited. So we're heating us up. So cool. And like, look at all those colors. Yeah. Just blend together. So while it's drying, yeah, let's look. I love how that one blends together. You got that cool color explosion. Ooh, look at the pink on purple I one. I know, I like it. So fun. So everyone's is so unique on how their colors bloom. I think I'm dry. Boom, okay. So we're gonna turn that off. Make sure we turn it off and set it to the side. Now, grab your brush. I'm gonna use my thin brush, cool. or if you don't have that, you learned how to make a really thin line by pressing really lightly. So grab your brush, dip it in water, hit it off to the side, and you're gonna grab green. Now we mix two different greens actually. Right. So you could do teal, okay, or you can do this light green. You get to choose. I think I'm gonna do the light green. So we're gonna add some leaves. Now, do you see when you're looking at this, so we have some lines that are coming up. These are our stems, but this flower is in front of it, so I drew it behind it. Okay. So maybe whenever you see white spaces, you're gonna paint in that part. Okay, you got it. So you're gonna draw, start at the bottom somewhere, and you're gonna draw a line up. Let me draw another line in the white space. So we're kind of connecting. This is such a fun project. Yeah, to see it come together. Come together. <laughs> so Hadley is the one who does our awesome Let's Make Our Kids Instagram. So if you don't know what we're talking about, you should come join in yes. our Facebook group because we want to be friends with you and we want to see what you paint. Oh, for sure. That's like the fav my favorite part of my job. Yeah. I mean, working with Nicole is really awesome, <laughs> but... Good save. Yes, <laughs> but seeing everybody's artwork and then like commenting on. Yeah. So it, like when Let's Make Art says like, your project looks so awesome, Nolan, or I'm trying to think winter. I love that. Like it's my favorite part. I love it so much. You get to love on everyone. That's why oh. I say you're the mom that yeah. gets to love on everyone. She's like our cool aunt. <laughs> yes. Is that a better thing? Yes. Yes, I like that. Yeah, I like that. Like, yeah, yeah, I like that. <laughs> it's so much fun, though. So this is awesome. Now, if you have more space, you can add some leaves. So leaves are two curves that come together. You get to make this your own. So this is so fun. I love how that blended like that. Right? So cool. Mm, so That good. yellow does. I am glad you filled that whole pot in with yellow. Me too. And then I'm like so excited for the next step. I can't get ahead. <laughs> <laughs> so fun. So fun. Okay. So when you are done, what I want you to do is I want you to clean your brushes because we're done with watercolors for right now. So you're gonna sweep the bottom of your cup to get all the color off, and then you have a paper towel next to you, so I want you to sweep that, actually, and then set it off to the side. Now, oh, let's close our watercolors since we're done with that, too. So we're gonna be kind to our tools, and then Hadley are going to share this, but I'm gonna show you how to use this. So this is our fun stickles, which actually comes in so many colors, yeah, too, if so you like this. Many. We'll, sh we'll show you what all the colors are, so we'll we do that. We had so much fun picking, like, the web. Oh, yeah. Remember, like, going through the website? We it was, like, pick. shopping at a candy store, but an <laughs> art store. 
<laughs> okay, so to use this, what this is, is if you see on here, do you see how there's these raised and different spots that are yellow? So it's like puffy paint. Did you use puffy paint as a kid? Yes. I love puffy so paint. It's so good. So good. So this is puffy paint. So what we're gonna do is you're going to turn it upside down, have this pointed down. And if yours is kind of empty, you're gonna shake it a little bit. It's okay. Just shake it, but don't squeeze. So you're gonna shake it, and then when you get really close to here, I'm gonna show you how you're gonna squeeze, and then it's gonna squeeze the stickles out. Boom! So good. Nice. Maybe I'll do it over here so you can see it more. So good. So you can add some polka dots. Oh, I love it. You can, you can outline this and maybe make this like there's petals on oh, here. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. So there's so many different things. And so I'm squeezing. And so a one trick that I wanna show you is, let's see, is when I'm doing this, I'm squeezing, but I'm not just doing this. I'm lifting up a little bit. So I'm letting it touch. Let's see, let's do it over here. Can you see how I'm letting, I'm letting the stickles touch my paper. So I'm not pushing really hard into it. I'm just letting it touch the paper and then moving my hand. Because you don't want to break that nozzle. Yeah. Yeah. Let me finish this one and then you can try. Cool. Okay, I think I'm going to decorate my pot. Is do it, yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. so you can, yes, you can either add more flowers or decorate your okay, pot. Okay, I'm going to start. That's why I wanted to paint that. it all yellow. Yeah. I think I'm going to add some cool texture. Yeah. So this is, again, when you get to be creative. Oh, I nice. love it. Like the yellow on yellow. <gasps> so good. Yeah. So, so fun. fun. You know what I feel like this would be so good as? What? A gift. Yes. <gasps> so, yeah. so good. You, you could can... give this to somebody special in your life. I love when my kids like bring me their artwork. It's like my favorite, favorite Makes thing. Makes you feel good. Oh, so good. Yeah. So good. Yeah, so if there's someone in your life while you're painting with that you think, I think she would love this or he would love this, maybe you give it to them. You can write their name on here. Yeah. Or you can write it on the back and make this a card mm -hmm. for the next time you see them. You just say, I was just thinking about you. I made this for you. That's and you'll idea. watch their smile come on their faces. Yeah. I love it. So fun. Looks so, so good. good. So again, we have so many different colors of this. I hope you love this. We were so excited to show you how to use this new tool. And you can take like the different colors that we have and match them up. Oh, that's Ooh. a good idea. Or like mix them, because like on this one. Yeah, this is all yellow. Yeah. Can everyone see this? But it doesn't look like it is. Yeah. Oh, it, I didn't think it was. It's all yellow, yeah. but because I put it on green, it like mixed. Let's see if what? I put it. So does it have to be wet to mix or no, will it mix? I don't, let's see. Okay. No, right? Cause that's yeah. kind of green. Yep. So you all Whoa. saw this and this kind of looks orange. Yes, it totally does. So does the stickles kind of reactivate it a little bit or what, what do you think it is? Just I think it's cause through? it's kind of clear. Mm -hmm. It picks up a little bit what's underneath it. Ooh, yeah, that would make sense. So I think that's what's happening. It's so fun. It's so fun. cool. It's so cool. Awesome. Okay, well, this was great. I know. Oh, remember to close your cap. Yes and clean up your palette. Yes. But thank you so much. Yeah, just thanks for, for having me. Thank you for being a part of Let's Make Art Kids. We love you so much. And thank you for painting with us. We also love you too. And we're so, so glad you're here painting with us. So remember what I said is we have a Facebook group called Let's Make Art Kids Projects. Yes. And we have an Instagram called Let's Make Art Kids. And we want to comment and say hi yeah. on what you painted. And we want to see your artwork. We want to share it like in our welcome note. Oh yeah. Or on our website, on our Instagram page. We want to just celebrate all of our little artists. So thank you for painting with us. Thank Keenan for being here with us. Thank you. And always remember that you are brave, kind, and you are so creative. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.